If you don't back up your data online, you need to start right now. This is a 28 terabyte hard drive array that I have all my photos and videos on, but I can still lose all the data if it gets corrupted, stolen, or if there's a fire. Today, we're talking about backing up your data online using Backblaze. Hey there, if you're new here, my name's Chris. I'm teaching you photography and how to start a creative business. I wanna say a special hi to all my new subscribers. Welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm covering a topic not many creatives talk about. We're talking about backing up our data online. I'll be walking you through the software that I use, Backblaze. I'll tell you what it is, who it's for, and how to use it. If you're gonna watch any of my videos all the way through, make it this one. I'll tell you how you can get a free trial by using my link in the description. All right, let's get started. As photographers and videographers, we use up a lot of data. After a shoot, we have 10, 50, maybe 100 gigabytes of data that we have to manage. That's a lot of data. All of that data can't live on our computers alone, so we go and we buy external hard drives thinking these are the answer. We transfer our files over to these hard drives and forget about them. We'll have those files when we need them, right? Well, usually that's the case, but on rare occasions, our hard drives might fail. Someone might break in and steal your hard drives, or maybe your building burns down. Wouldn't that suck? When we're talking about long-term data storage, we need to remember one word, redundancy. This means that you have multiple copies of each file, photo, and video. If you have photos on a hard drive and that hard drive fails, but you practice redundancy, then you still have another copy of the file somewhere. How do I ensure that I have multiple copies of files? Cloud storage. This is the best way to protect your photos, videos, and files. When it comes to cloud storage, there are a lot of options out there, but I think Backblaze wins out over every other option. This video isn't sponsored or anything, that's just my opinion. So what's Backblaze in a nutshell? You basically download and install the software, it backs up your entire computer and external hard drives in the background, and you can rest easy. Check out my link below and see for yourself. Now, for those of you still watching, let's go a little more in depth and I'll convince you that this will be the best investment for your photography. Like I mentioned, Backblaze is a software you'll download, install, and then set up what you want backed up. This is an effortless way to know that all of your photos and videos are safe. It's mindless and you don't have to do anything after the initial setup. The company has been around for 14 years and they've got over half a million customers, so they've got credibility. And it's safe. They encrypt all your data, they use two-factor authentication, and their data centers have security and redundant power. Now you might be asking, what's the difference between Backblaze and Dropbox or another online storage service? Well, there's a few things to talk about here. First, Backblaze backs everything up on your computer in the background while you do your editing or watch YouTube videos. There's nothing you need to do other than the initial setup. Dropbox requires you to save files to special folders on your desktop and it'll require more effort on your part. It's easy to forget to back stuff up. So Backblaze gives you peace of mind there. Another amazing feature they have is historical backups of your computer for 30 days with a base price or a full year of historical backups for an extra two bucks a month. What are historical backups exactly? Let's say you accidentally delete a file and you don't notice it until you need it again in two months. You're panicking because your client really needs this file. Then you remember you have Backblaze. You can go in and see what your computer looked like two months ago, find that file and download it. This feature has saved me before and it's awesome. How does pricing compare between Backblaze and Dropbox? Backblaze is way cheaper than Dropbox or any other competitor. Dropbox charges based on storage size. Their plans are based on terabytes you use. This can add up fast because as creatives, we use a lot of storage. Backblaze is unique because they charge per computer backed up. So you can have a MacBook with a 10 terabyte hard drive plugged into it, and it's gonna be six bucks a month no matter how much data you have on your computer. That's a great deal. For the cost of a fancy coffee, you can gain peace of mind that all your files are safe. The reason why it's so cheap is because their target audience isn't necessarily creatives with terabytes of files to back up. They're aimed at people who just want to back up their computer with a few hundred gigabytes on it. That's why as photographers and videographers, this is an amazing deal for us. All right, so I know at this point it might sound like I'm hating on Dropbox, but I actually think Dropbox is great but it's not made for backing up your data. It's better for file sharing. Dropbox is a software I use to share files with clients and Backblaze is a software I use to back everything up. All right, so now you're saying, Chris, this sounds great. How do I use it? Click on the link in the description and that'll give you a free trial for the software. Go ahead and download and install it on your computer. The software is gonna walk you through the initial setup and get you going. I'll be walking through how this looks like on a Mac, but the window setup is really similar too. Go to System Preferences and click on Backblaze Backup. From here, you'll see what's currently being backed up. Let's go and click on Settings here. You can see down here all the hard drives you can select for backup. Plug in the drives you want associated with your computer and they'll show up here. Then make sure they're checked and leave them plugged in so that Backblaze can back up your data. After a minute or so, it'll start backing up and you can go back to the home screen to check on your progress of the backups. And that's really it. 
It's super simple software to use. There's a few more advanced settings like performance, scheduling, and exclusions for anything you don't want backed up, but I don't really touch anything here. All right, so at this point, you've been using Backblaze for a few months, and now your hard drive crashes. That sucks, but at least everything is still backed up. Here's how we go about restoring it. Let's go to backblaze.com and log in. Click on my account and then view restore files. Here we can scroll down and look at all the options we have. Click on download and then come down here and find the hard drive you want to restore. From here, we can click on the files we want or even the whole drive itself. Hit continue with restore and you can go ahead and download those files. Super easy stuff. All right, so if you've watched this far, you know Backblaze is for you. Click on that link in my description and get a free trial and check it out for yourself. Please let me know in the comments if you already use Backblaze or if there's some other alternative out there that you like. I'd love to hear from you. I really appreciate you watching this video and I think it's awesome you wanna learn more about photography and creative business. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That really helps my channel and allows me to make more of these. I'll see you in the next one.